Well, this is the garden and the rainy day. This is flowers. This is flowers. And this is a tomato. This is tomatoes. We did this on a project uh, with the UW students. We finished this before school started. This is for in front of 5814. These trees that we had donated, they donated to us. Raspberries over there against, right there, you know, some, 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 little something we did during the summer. It's rainy outside. Uh, wow. The JFF office it looks beautiful. The program itself brought it brought closeness to my family and some of the neighbors in the community and uh, some people from the UW, Mr. Abdul, Terry. Um, they brought me new friends. They brought food in my house. Um, closeness in my family. Uh, uh, a uh, comfortness in our community, you know, that was never there, that I've never felt. Only when we was involved with the gardening and the gardening folks is when I felt like I was actually in a community. It, it was more than just a job because it, it, it kept my son from off the streets. He had got into some trouble and then I had uh, met Mr. Abdul before my son was coming home from out of the uh, uh, Lincoln Hills. And uh, it was just God sent because Mr. Abdul offered my son a job, you know, had a job ready for him when he came home. And it, Mr. Abdul was such a, uh, he's such a, 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 a man about himself that he was more or less teaching my son wrong from right and how to become a young man and how not to get distracted you know, off of what, what he needs to do so that he can stay free. And so it changed my life and my family's life. It changed my family's life because my son actually wouldn't still be free right now today if it wasn't for the gardens. Have you seen any changes in this neighborhood as a result of gardens, as a result for the gardens of empowerment? Of the uh, everybody is interested in it. I know all the tenants in the building I manage are. There, there okay. is a lot of different things going on. It really looks really nice around here. You guys have gave the blocks some flavor, some color, nice flowers, nice vegetables to donate to the family. So yes, you guys have given it a nice flavor. Toy, mm -hmm. you said what? It's not a lot of garbage laying around. You can just ride through here now. You can tell a, a great difference in uh, in Russell Street. You know, it's, it's a lot of greenery and uh, colorful flowers and things. And then you can see where they have the uh, the vegetables and things. You see quite a few other kids in the neighborhood. They come out and they, they actually check check it out. You know, they actually see the kids and, and then the way you guys wear y'all look colorful shirts to show that y'all are, are a group. And that would bring a lot of uh, understanding to people that would make people pay notice. So it's definitely a much more like visible presence in the community than it used to be. And I did a lot of projects here at the center. And before like the kids got involved, we never had anyone coming in doing projects. So that's been a really positive change in the neighborhood. What do you think are the benefits of G4E? Who do you think is benefiting most from G4E? And to anyone who is not benefiting, from G4G4E, who should, who should be? Well, who's benefiting is the teenagers. That gives you guys a chance to learn responsibilities of going to work and getting a paycheck to know that that's only how you can make it in the world is to work and get a paycheck. And um, who's benefiting from it is the teenagers, the parents of the teenagers. Brings the neighborhood closer together and all the tenants can get their own whatever they like out of the garden when they're ready to be picked. Who benefits them? I think the whole neighborhood benefits. Who do I think is benefiting most? The kids. The kids. For younger kids in the community, it's a really good example for them to see their older brothers and sisters working and like 
have a good example for what they can do in the future. and obviously the center benefits because we get you guys to come in and do really cool programs with us. anybody, they could just benefit from just being eye candy and they can see it looks better around the neighborhood. what do you like best about this project? that it brings a lot of teenagers together with no drama. the world gets his own money. <laughs> And he doesn't have to ask me for money. <laughs> it's making the neighborhood look nice. What do you like best about this project? The kids that are doing it. I see the kids, man. I see the kids interested. I see the kids interested in uh, this, the, the, the think that they are, they are part of something, you know, something of positivity, something that they, they can believe in. Is there anything you think could be done to improve the G4E project in this neighborhood? Maybe you could do more outreach, let people know about it more. So, I don't know, maybe in that case you can bring in like more groups from around Madison to do programs with you guys and help you out. Is there out. anything you think could be done to improve the G4E project in this neighborhood? Um, yeah, maybe you guys can get out and invite more teens to get involved. Basically, you know, to come in and just, you know, be there to, you know, to, uh, cheer the kids on, just let them know that they're doing things positive. What would you like to see happen next in the neighborhood? Next in the neighborhood? Um, more things for the kids to do when they're not working and not in school during the summer. Oh, what would you like to see happen That's next in old, the neighborhood? <laughs> I would like you for Chantalina to get her a job too. Can you help her and Dominique out? I like to get back into uh, making bird houses and uh, bird feeders and that stuff. Making, you know, things for the community. Is there anything else you would like to share about your experience with the G4E project? Uh, well, I think it's just been a really great experience for everyone, and I've definitely noticed like the youth that are involved in the project have matured a lot and grown a lot, and definitely have more skills than they did in the beginning. And it's been a really nice process staff to have support of other kids in the neighborhood that they're being trained to be leaders as well. Uh, I kind of enjoyed that my child was working for you guys, and um, you guys show her how to have responsibilities beyond me showing her. You guys also showed her that you have to Is work. there anything else you would like to share about the experience with the Gardens for Empowerment project? Mm, other than the fact that you guys have been totally awesome all year? No. <laughs> Alright, well, I thank you for your time. Thank you. It was and nice talking to you. Alright, nice young man. To you. Nice talking to you. And man, just keep up your good work and keep on doing what you're doing, man on the right path in this. And I thank you for just being a young man trying to step up and know what's right and what's wrong and be a man about it. And I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's all today. This is Ryan Steps and Annette Jackson. And so I'm really humble and appreciative of the gardens. You know, a lot of people can say, oh, it's just a garden. No, no. It's a life, it was a life-changing experience for me and my family, and I know for some of my neighbors.